Hey there everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you are well. My name is Rabbit, and thank you so much for joining me for episode number 41 of Let's Blindly Play Through Romancing Saga Minstrel Song on the PlayStation 2. In our last episode, we had successfully acquired the dragon egg, but what we were not wholly successful in doing was escaping the cave that was inhabited by a bunch of dinosaurs. So we had kickstarted everything by having a battle with the last dinosaur at the edge of the cave and it was a struggle but we did overcome the dino for very little reward to be honest so even though it, we didn't lose a whole lot outside of I think maybe two bombs and I did have to spend 75 gold to sleep at the inn you guys are gonna see some changes now that we are in this episode so why don't we use that to transition into what you can already see is a difference here so I was able to go back and find Miriam she was chilling in I believe it was northern Estimir. I had to do a little bit of running around however to get everyone what I felt like they needed so she came if you guys do recall with nothing to her name in terms of certified classes or even abilities well that's a lie she did have pyrology and I know you're probably immediately seeing that I have pyrology and hydrology I'm gonna get there don't get ahead of me I told you we're, we're transitioning into this so trust me I think I know what I'm doing oh lots of question marks but <laughs> let's move forward so I ended up in northern Estimir where I recruited her making her a Rosalian mage obviously we had to let go of Hawk in exchange for Miriam will this be a permanent choice I don't really know because I do also want to potentially revisit Galahad in the future but I felt like I needed to make the commitment right now I've been saying I want to utilize Miriam she really just struck a chord with me in a positive way when we initially met her as opposed to my first impressions of like Patrick or Herman don't really care if we never see them in battle or really hear them talk outside of what little banter we've already exchanged with them Nevertheless, so I got her up to Rosalian Mage level 2, and all she kind of had come with was Pyrology, which is what I had mentioned, so I ended up unlocking these other skills, which, great, but as you already saw, one of the downsides to that is that since she already came with Pyrology, there did appear to be a bit of a conflict there. We'll talk about that because I am outside of Jelton's magic shop and there's a little menu that kind of pops up when you're going to be buying like a conflicting spell or I should say a spell for a conflicting magic school. So we'll talk about that here in just a second. But what I really want to focus on is that I did a bunch of running around to acquire a, a decent variety of spells just so that she can kind of hit the ground running. I'm not sure if she's going to stay a Rosalian mage. I actually spent probably way too long waffling between this and Imperial Scholar but I figured she was in Northern Estimir maybe thematically it seems more appropriate for her to go in this direction but I, at the end of the day I don't know if it's going to make a considerable difference anyway so as you can see in the right little box there she's got healing water holy water and water blast I also got her three spells in demonology energy bolt weapon blessing and enhanced spells so there's a little bit of overlap with John actually but not too much to where they're identical in what they can offer so I feel like there's a, a decent level of variety that she'll bring in addition to me still having that consistency with the healing ability and then last for bewitchery I ended up giving her way of defense I don't know how I really feel about this but I wanted to just try something she also just from looking at her stats appears a bit frail so I mean just look at her HP not that HP is everything but it still does say a lot and I think she She's going to require a little bit of work and a little bit of stat gain, which this is kind of a deviation, but wanted to mention, I was starting to share with you guys that, you know, I had to do a bit of running around, so I took money into account because I didn't want to sell my dinosaur eggs without you, and I still haven't figured out if I'm selling the mummy, keeping the mummy, what's happening with the mummy. So I did end up clearing out my inventory, and probably the most notable thing you might see with the timestamp here. I did end up reloading my quick save and running back through the cave with the dinosaur egg. I just had lurk on the whole time. It genuinely took me like two minutes since I knew exactly which cave I wanted to go into. I knew exactly where the dinosaur eggs were and I knew exactly which places in between each pocket of dinosaurs I needed to be reactivating lurk. I think that's everything that happened without you guys. I'm trying to take a second to think 
but I'm pretty sure that's the only major difference you're gonna see is that I did that in far less time than obviously us getting into a half hour battle with one of the dinosaurs. So I ended up saving us a little bit of time by redoing that. I just felt like we didn't get anything too extraordinary from the dinosaur as a result of defeating it. And even our stat gain, it wasn't, in my opinion, significant. So yeah, I just figured let's just reload it, save ourselves some time, save ourselves a little bit of money. Granted, it's only 75 gold, but it does add up because you can see I only have $92 to my name. Not for long though. And here, just to highlight before I get into the not for long though, that I did end up selling quite a few things. I'm trying to think if there was anything special that I sold that you guys might want to know about, but I don't think so. I guess it's worth mentioning, I sold all of my tempering materials, so you can see I have no more of the dead stones, uh, no beast fang, I think there was like sticky string, and then I had a couple of blue herbs and one yellow herb. Y'all, my memory is killing it, but I don't think there was anything that special. So this is kind of what I've got now. My inventory is exceedingly bare, but it was a necessary evil to be able to afford what I wanted in terms of spells for everyone. So I think that's it. Oh, that's not it. The last thing, I know y'all, so much happened without you. But the last thing I wanna show you is this menu oh. that I'm talking about or this pop-up. So. Miriam ended up coming with Pyrology, and even when I unlocked access to Hydrology, Demonology, and Bewitchery by teaching her the class Rosalian Mage, there was nothing that really displayed or highlighted like, hey, you've got some conflicting shit going on with your skills. What actually kind of brought that to my attention was if you click on something that's from the conflicting class, Okay, well, never mind. That is very underwhelming right there because it's not going to show since I don't have the cash for it. Hmm. I'm trying to think then how I can show this to you. Well, when you click on it, it ends up telling you that you're going to lose... Oh, I don't want to even guesstimate what it says. Hold on, hold on. May I help you? This is what I was also wanting to do with you guys in tow. So let's just sell our dinosaur egg. It is... A lot of money actually to get rid of this thing I don't know what else we can do with it the icon doesn't imply that it's an egg it looks like it's a consumable but maybe you could do something special with it I don't know y'all I'm just gonna get rid of it because that's what was sort of implied from even all of the townsfolk that you get these eggs you sell them and you reap the woo oh I just got a lot of clout with this vendor I wonder should I be having a specific relationship with vendors. I'm probably fucking up this playthrough so badly. And I'm sure some of you that are vets are like, oh my God, rabbit, you fucking suck. And you're not super wrong. But hey, I'm doing the best that I can. So anyway, I actually have money now. So now let's go back to what I was trying to say. So if, for example, we wanted to kind of go back and add pyrology to be kind of the focus of what she's doing and drop hydrology. If I click on flame of life, this menu pops up where it says, by learning pyrology, you lose access to all hydrology. Proceed. Obviously, I'm not doing this because hydrology is going to be more important at this point. You know what? While I'm thinking about this, I think I want to get self-immolation for Claudia. Raise a magical shield to flame. Let's go ahead and do this. I think this one's going to be nice, and these aren't gonna matter. I guess I could give her armor blessing and summon elemental. Oh my god, that's kind of cool. I wonder how that works, but I don't want to spend too much money because remember, we're trying to save up 10 grand to buy that scroll from the Owapu Gekling. So I've got to be mindful of that too, but at the same time, I can't be just a broke ass bitch and behind in developing my characters. It's just been such a struggle period. But anyway, I'm not gonna get her armor blessing, but it's good to know that it's here. Nevertheless, so that does pop up. And I did see when I was running around to get spells, so I ended up going to Southern Estimir. I don't even remember which town has access to what. I think I think Southern Estimir had the hydrology spells I wanted. Then it was Uso that had Demonology and Bewitchery. And then I came back here and obviously got a Pyrology ability for Claudia. So a lot, a fucking lot, y'all, no exaggeration, of just hoofing it, 
be bopping around went into getting us to where we are presently. So that is everything. I believe that happened without you. If I'm missing anything, it'll be fine. We will figure it out in due time. But what I do kind of need to figure out is what to do with this mummy. I sort of want to sell it. That would get us very close to our goal of 10,000 gold, but you know, whatever. Oh, 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 what I was starting to say was in Uso, because that was one of the places I had to go to in order to get the different spells that I wanted to throw onto Miriam. There was like a scroll at the bottom of the shop and so, okay, I'm trying to think of how to explain this. If let's say I was at the demonology shop or the guy who was selling demonology and a couple other different types of magic school spells, there was a scroll for cosmology and it said something about forgetting cosmology. So I don't know if it makes it to where... I mean, surely you don't lose your magic skills in it, but I guess it resets it for you to where, I don't know, like you end up remembering the other one. So maybe there's a place that I'll find like a pyrology scroll and I, I don't think you pay for it. I think you just activate it and it allows you to forget all of your hydrology spells and suddenly Miriam can focus on pyrology again. Y'all, it's a little confusing how this works, but I'm guessing that's what it does so i guess the absolute last thing to show you guys is that and we did see this i don't think claudia could do this but we did see this with sylvan and brow i think because they were imperial scholars that certain classes can synthesize spells i don't know what this does and i don't even know if i want to try figuring out what this does right now because it's probably gonna fuck my shit up but it looks like you can add just a host of spells together. Yeah, and then you make something else. So it looks like you need a recipe. And then you can get... So, like, what happens if I put all of these together? It just gives me weapon blessing, which is not good. I mean, we could try water blast and then this with hellfire. Yeah, that... I don't know. It looks like you can bring up the strength, though. Like, the power goes up, but then BP cost goes up, too. Triple synthesis. I guess there might be some double syntheses you could do. I don't know what that would look like. No. Oh, my God. But do you guys see this? Energy bolt would go up. Oh, my God. Quite a lot, actually. So that's kind of good to know. I guess if you have the money and you want to buy a bunch of bullshit spells, you could theoretically synthesize more powerful variants of that. So I guess maybe that's another advantage to the Rosalian Mage and the Imperial Scholars versus I think we saw when we were in Crystal City, I believe there was a wizard that you could be. I'm guessing things like wizard don't have the ability to synthesize and naturally any different classes that don't focus in magic and aren't mages or scholars, I guess. They also don't seem to be able to synthesize. So anyway, that was a very long intro for us to kind of dive back in and see where we want to go. So we had gone to this cave that's right in front of us. Why don't we run all the way to the one to the far right and just kind of see how that goes. I guess you guys don't have to come with me for that because there's probably going to be a lot of shenanigans. I think that's it. No. Yes? Actually, I think that is... Actually, whatever. I've got Lurk still. What am I doing? This is going to be a hop, skip, and a jump to get over here. But oh my god, the planes are beautiful. And I don't know, did anyone tell us what was over... So if we go immediately southward... Does that take us to Mount Tamai? I think that was in the description for this region, but don't hold me to that, y'all. What is this? Oh, probably a spot where if I had it, I could harvest some herbs. So I don't know. Anyway, we find a deep pit. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I don't know what to expect out of here. And I don't have a map, which makes sense. We just got in here. I'm not too interested in fighting so much as I want to just be discovering things. So, and maybe we can finish. Please hurry up. 
we can finish the quest that's cute. I think there's a way to finish it. I mean, we had found an egg and, oh, there's a chest. Oh, two chests over here. We had found the eggs, but it didn't remove the plain treasure quest, so I don't know what that means. All right, 10 jewels. That's not a lot, game. Thanks for teasing me with your bullshit. Rondosh? Oh, what is that? Okay. Oh, a small metal shield that is lightweight and practical. This could be a nice little little update for one of our boys here. We've already got the Tarj, so actually that's amazing. That's super nice. Let's go ahead and swap it out. And then as a result, you also get a nice little upgrade. So perfect. So we can go ahead and sell probably both bucklers. I think the bucklers are trash, right? Oh, actually, the bucklers are better than the great shield. So I probably will sell the great shield just to keep my inventory as light as a feather. But okay, very nice. So I was talking shit about getting those jewels, but this actually worked out getting, oh, he can see me? Interesting. I guess I would have to use the other thing. Well, it's not lurk, but whatever it's called. Okay, I just need to get into the fight so that, how did he still strike me first? I'm pretty sure I turned to the side, you know, gave him a little shoulder. Whoa, why is it showing me selecting modes? You've obtained a weapon that can switch, oh, that can change modes? Oh, maybe what's on Miriam? Select that weapon and press the switch weapon mode button to change its mode. Attack mode specializes in offensive power. Defense mode reduces damage received. Trick mode makes it easier to attack quickly. Magic mode enhances magic with weapon power. Okay. See how you match up with your foe's techniques. Try several combos. This is weird. We're almost 20 hours into this game and I'm still getting menus that are telling me what to do. That is so wild. I don't know who that's for. I'm pretty sure it has to be Miriam. Like, who else would it be? Anyway, let's try... Oh, it looks like we're not trying... LP? Why would that cost LP? Instead of... Really? I don't understand. LP in... That's crazy. I guess maybe Claudia's not a high enough pyrologist to utilize something like this without it draining her energy. That is very weird, but okay. Don't care, it's not a big deal. Let's get to it. We've got a Morlock. I think we've seen all of these models before, so... I'm anticipating this being fairly straightforward. I would really love it, by the way, Gray. If you could get some of these things more up to speed. That I am Diana. Face me if you dare. <laughs> yes, Diana, I hear you. Oh, or maybe it's because the Holy Staff is also on her. And yes, naturally, she's introducing herself because, like I said, I ended up reloading my quick save, and we did not end up having that fight after all. I don't see... I don't think it's hers. I don't see an option to change weapon mode. So I don't Let know. Let me handle this. Oh, so cute. Here we go. So you can switch attack mode because she has Oile's staff. Okay. Attack mode, magic mode. Those are the only two modes. So this is interesting. I guess because it allows you, okay, because it allows you to use, I guess that's demonology, right? You get to channel certain demonological spells. Is it just the one she already has? I don't really get that uh, at all, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just, let's just do some shit and see how it goes. Oh, okay. So this is genuinely your only physical weapon. Oh, wow. Oile's staff is gorgeous. We're spreading out the love. Oile will be remembered. Oh, boy. You got nothing, sir, but nice try. Oh, but it doesn't do a whole lot, or she doesn't do a whole lot of physical damage. But that's okay, because ultimately, Miriam is going to be healing bros and healing hoes. That's what I got her for. I'd be interested in seeing how many people... Wow, she's the only one that got a stat change? 
Hey, at least it was to HP because y'all, she's looking a little raggedy as we had talked about. Now, where the heck am I going and why is there not? Please get out of my way. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect, leave me be. I guess Lurk was not the answer here. I probably should have, oh God. Not this thing, this could be bad, the gargoyle. We saw this when we were running through somewhere and maybe we just encountered it a little early. I don't know, but it was rough. That's all I gotta say. Oh, whatever, John, let's just keep it going. She also knows martial arts, so we can switch up and try to unlock some stuff for Diana. And I guess I really don't understand why you would use oilies. Oh, I guess because you have the staff. So this actually isn't that great on Miriam because she already has access to demonological spells. So putting it on someone else, I'm guessing you could then buy demonology spells and be able to use them because Oile's staff allows you to versus you having actual knowledge of that magic school. I think that's how it works. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it works. Oh yeah, Miriam is gonna be useless in terms of physical DPS, but that's fine. Just wanting to see what she's got. Switch it up. Ooh, finally. Oh, that didn't do too much, but that's okay. I'm just happy to see something fresh and see something new for Zizue Handar. I really wanna try this self-immolation, but I don't know if it's worth it for, yeah, just for the sake of, you know, whatever, Claudia, why don't we? Why don't we just do something new? Keep it moving, girl. Keep it moving, you too. And then we'll start doling out some heals. God, John got a little wrecked by this thing. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, Diana, come on. <gasps> Why? Well, this was not supposed to happen like this. At least he's alive. That's all I gotta say we're gonna we're gonna fixate some love I think onto John because he desperately needs it it seems which no shame in that game why aren't you getting it together Diana that's what I want to know because as an aesthetic level two her martial arts skills aren't bad so I don't know why 69 mm, I don't know how I feel about that seems a little suggestive that that happened to be what she threw John's way, but okay. All right, perfect. And only two jewels, but you know, we'll take them. We'll take them. I can't be too mad about it. Oh God, not this stupid thing again. I really would rather not get into another fight with one of you. Come on, transform, you know you want to. Oh God. <gasps> John, don't be unkind. We're not going to mess around though, y'all. Let's just try to kill everything as fast as possible so we can just blast through. I'm shocked. Oh, a chop. That slices the enemy in two. I don't know if we looked at the description. Let's just hunker down and do everything we can and try to kill everyone. Oh my god. She's only got three BP gain per turn. That's not amazing, but I'm hopeful that she's going to grow fairly quickly because she's, I'm guessing, behind our team. It's kind of hard to track and gauge that since you don't really have an actual level attributed to where the character's at. The levels are more so tied to what skill set they possess and what you've allowed them to specialize in and or focus on. So it's a little, it's a little misleading, I think. And it's difficult as a result to know, like, uh, where's this person at? Like, what are they, what are they really going to excel at long term? <laughs> sure thing, Diana. But okay, we ended up clearing out a few enemies. Perfect. We will just continue on our merry way, at least for a little bit longer. I'm getting nervous though. It's a lot of shit around here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, so it looks like nothing actually was in this room. I was prepared for the worst, you guys. And I don't know why I keep activating Lurk because I don't think it's gonna save my balls versus those other things. I think Lurk is for 
enemies that have good vision, and then the other one was move silently, and so that's more centered around enemies that hear you. I can see why you would want both, but at the same time, oh, what the heck is this? What is this? You cannot climb up without climbing skills level three, which I certainly don't have, so we're gonna keep that moving. But good to know, we could come back here if we wanted to. I'm scared, y'all. What is over here? But this is also what I mean when I say there are so many... Oh, this thing again. Please get lost. I don't want to have to fight another one. And yet, here we are. If he can just get behind me, and then I can run around. Come on. No, he did it wrong. Oh, no, that is what I'm talking about. Okay, excellent. Not that I mind the easier fights, you know, anything that ends up not being quite as cancerous as the dinosaur is good with me, but this is a pain in the ass. And we're in B2, and we still have not found a map, so I'm not sure... Oh, hold on. Reset, boys. We are headed back out and then back in. Again, Lurk may or may not prove fruitful in us getting through this in one fell swoop. But we're going to try it. No, it didn't work at all. Like, at all, y'all. But we're going to run this way and see if I could just lose them. Oh, my God. So many enemies, like, all wanting a piece of my pie. I mean, understandably so. Claudia's pretty cute. But, oh, thank goodness, we got through that. A chest is nearby. Let's do it. What is this? Please be something good and juicy. 300 gold. I would say that's, that's pretty good. Now, let's try lurking again. We've got so many points queued for these proficiencies. Another wall to climb. Y'all, I bet there is some good stuff. Oh, man. I don't know where I'm headed. There's no map. So we're either going in the right direction or we're getting very, whoa, very lost and moving towards nothing. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Those enemies stopping themselves. But how the heck am I going to get out of here in one piece? That's the, the real question, y'all. I heard something. Oh, no. Is there actually an enemy in here? Because I feel like, I mean like a boss, not normal enemies, because clearly there's been nothing but normal enemies here. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this cave. It says it's a treasure cave. Okay, oh, uh, there was no way I was getting past this joker. All right, y'all, we will end this episode by trying to take out these enemies quickly and effortlessly. I really don't want to even give them a, an opportunity to mess with me. Not about that life. I'm just trying to make my own thing go down. And it does not... Ooh! Take that shield, bro. Take that shield. And yeah, I really am not trying to have some major shit happening in my camp. So hopefully we'll kill this thing. Diana, can you please unlock some new skills. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, but it seems like these enemies aren't doing too much, to be honest. So, oh. Gray is blind. How did that happen? I guess I didn't even see where it came from. But it's all good, because this round should be a wrap for him. Oh, good job, girlfriend. Good job. So, I guess something that I've been thinking about since we kind of looked at the Synthesis, synthesization. Wow. Talk about a tongue twister, y'all. I think what could be a strategy is buying a bunch of... Well, I don't think you can buy spells more than once. But you can buy a variety of weaker things. And I wonder if in doing that, ultimately, you could, in theory, create something much more potent and much more effective, I guess. So that might be something to try in order to bring up a few folks. Well, a few folks, I shouldn't say, because only Miriam has access to that. But 
still something to consider. And since losing Sylvan and Brow, I no longer have the Imperial Scholar. So maybe that is something I need to revisit. And woohoo, she's getting there, y'all. And we got a shitty junk sword. Not the best, but you know, whatever. Good to have it. We can sell it. We can see if we can turn it into something else. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lurk and chill. So thank you for watching everyone when we come back together. I don't know, it says treasure cave, and I sold the only other treasure map that I had. So yeah, maybe that was what I was thinking of when I hesitated for like five seconds when we were talking about what was sold, what I still have, and what's going on in general. There was a treasure map and I was just like, fuck it. I've not been able to get that proficiency to really work in the way that I wanted it to. So yeah, I wonder if I needed a map here, but we already came this far. Fortunately, I've been on my A game with regards to saving a lot. So if this ends up being just a total mess and there's nothing in here and we came all this way for no reason whatsoever other than curiosity and a lack of direction, I can just reload to where we were at in Jelton. I don't know why I almost said Owapu. The only thing I'll have to do is just repurchase self-immolation for Claudia, but honestly, I might not rebuy it anyway because she has to use LP in order to cast it. So not a huge loss. We'll just see what ends up happening when we come back together in episode number 42. So thank you as always for watching, everyone. My name is Rabbit. This is my blind run through Romancing Saga Minstrel Song, and I am so glad to have you along for the ride. So take care, be good, and I'll see you guys in just a second.